Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal and hope you all are doing well. First of all, a shuho bijoya to all of you and happy Navaratri. I hope this festive season brings a lot of positivity and possibility in your life and those people who are preparing for some exams like GATE and any other competitive exam, uh, may you, you get all the, all the success and prosperity in the upcoming journey. Now coming back to today's video, as you know from the thumbnail, today's video is about GATE DA uh, paper and the students who is preparing for GATE DA. Now this message I often get that is it safe to prepare only for GATE DA because uh, in this year, uh, GATE 2025 and after that uh, during the admission of uh, 2025 uh, session, GATE DA students have suffered a lot. Uh, even those students who have a rank of 200, they have to wait till 6th round to get an offer. And that is very frustrating, that is very stressful for those students. A gate topper is not getting an offer uh, till, till the 6th round of COPE uh, counseling. Now that's why the question comes up that is it safe to prepare only for gate DA? And this actually I'll be addressing in this particular video, this topic I'll be discussing here. In specific, I'll be discussing about that why this whole issue happened, uh, why gate DA students suffered uh, this year uh, during the admission session. And then I'll be I'll give you my suggestion, my takeaways that what you should do. What are the solutions of this? Uh, is it safe to prepare for gate DA or there are some other ways you should follow? So that will be the content of today's video. If you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. Now, let's first discuss about where was the issue last time for get DA students for MTEC AI admission. First of all, not, not all the Indian institutions are having MTEC AI program dedicatedly for get DA students. Uh, there are only few institutions who have MTech AI curriculum. For example, ISC Bangalore, they have a MTech AI curriculum. Also, they accept GATE DA students for MTech in CBS curriculum. Apart from that, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Madras, and IIT KZP are the only institutions they have MTech AI program. And uh, the other institutions like IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, they have uh, MTech program, but those are not MTech uh, two years program. They have MS program, that is 2.5 to 3 years program. So that's why there are very really limited uh, amount of institutions who is offering MTech AI curriculum. Now among these institutions also, uh, only for IIT Madras, they take exclusively M uh, get DA students for MTech AI admission. So for IIT Madras, if you if you want to join for MTech AI, only get DA students can participate there. But apart from them, other institutions like IIT uh, Kharagpur, Hyderabad, ISC Bangalore. They allow other streams also to participate for MTech AI uh, admission. For example, MTech CDS ad admission or MTech AI admission in ISC or even IIT Kharagpur. Uh, along with GATE DA students, they also allow GATE CAS, GATE electrical, GATE mechanical. So there are, these are different uh, disciplines that is allowed. Now here is the problem. You know, uh, there is not a single uh, curriculum that is dedicatedly for GATE DA students. For example, if you go for uh, GATE CAC students, they have a single uh, curriculum all allotted for them that is MTech in CAC. If you take GATE EC students, they have MTech in EC. But for GATE DA students, they are, you know, the closest uh, curriculum for them or the most convenient curriculum for them is MTech in AI. But these institutions, what they do is for MTech in AI, they don't only accept GATE DA students' uh, application, they also accept uh, application for GATE CAC, EC, electrical. And for, for CDS, there are 14 disciplines that was allowed uh, to apply along with KT. So here is the problem. The competition is really, really tough. And I have made a short video before, I think a couple of months back, that th this is not a justice for GATE DA students because people who are preparing for GATE DA, uh, they are facing a tough challenge. And that's why even if you have a 200 rank uh, in, in GATE DA, probably you will not get a call till 6th round of counseling, which is very unnatural because if you have a 200 rank within a couple of rounds of co-op round, you should get at least a call. The major two issue is that only few institutions are offering MTech in AI. And even if those who are offering MTech in AI, except IIT Madras, others are also, you know, taking uh, application from other, other disciplines, uh, GATE paper. So that's the problem and that's why, uh, you know, GATE BA students have suffered a lot this year. 
I mean, in gate 2023, last time uh, admission, and and they they you know they randomly uh, chosen some institutions because you know I hope you understand that after a few rounds, if you are not getting a college, you get frustrated, and whatever offers you'll be getting, you'll be choosing that. So that's the issue, and that's people have faced last time in gate 2025 and during the admission of uh, 2025 session. So yeah, that was the problem in the last year gate exam and during the admission session last year in 2025. And I hope next year IIT will look into this issue. But you know, you can't predict anything. You know, until unless the notification comes up, you don't know what will happen next year. And the notification will come up after next year GATE exam, that is GATE 2026. So that's why, you know, if you are someone who is preparing for GATE 2026 and who are specifically preparing for GATE DN, uh, my suggestion will be that don't only prepare for GATE DN. Also prepare for some other paper that is allowed to appear with GATE DN. For example, I can see with GATE DA, you can appear for GATE CS, EC, Electrical, Math, Mechanical, Physics, Statistics, and XE. So these are the papers you can appear along with GATE DA. And for example, if you are someone who is belonging to these domains like CS, EC, Electrical, Mechanical, then I will suggest you that also prepare for your code paper. Now, I'm not just saying you to prepare for this paper. I'm telling you to prepare seriously for this paper because if you have a good rank in these papers like CS, EC, Electrical, whichever is suitable for you, along with the gate DA paper, if you have a good score in both the paper, then you have lost a lot of flexibility and you have a backup. So if you don't get a good IIT using your gate DA paper, maybe using the code paper, you can get into the uh, corresponding MTech curriculum. And that is also, that will also be helpful because uh, in all IITs, in all the departments nowadays, people are working on uh, AI machine learning. So you don't just need to get into a MTech AI program to do uh, machine learning based projects or machine learning based courses because if you even get into uh, I am taking CSE, I am taking EC, electrical, then also you'll get equal opportunity to uh, to to attend different different machine learning based courses and you can do your projects also in machine learning. So that that will not be not not be the issue. Uh, the only thing is I am telling you that DA only preparing for DA will not be maybe will is not a safe option because as I said that uh, you know you have to compete with these papers uh, during MTK admission. So that's why if you have a rank in these other papers like CSE, EC, electrical, mechanical, these papers, uh, then you have a lot of uh, flexibility, a lot of backups and you can apply using both the papers and you have a better chance to get into these IITs. Now coming to the fact that if you are someone uh, who is not who is not sure whether you can uh, you can do well in both the papers, then I personally tell you that prepare for these core papers. Don't prepare for the gate DA paper. As I said, gate DA has limited exposure, limited uh, scope to get into IITs and ISC because very less IITs are having MTech in AI AI program and they are also not considering only gate DA. So that's why if you have to prepare for one, if you if you feel that you can't uh, manage both the papers, you just want to prepare for one paper, it's right time, it's the correct time that you switch to this core paper, don't prepare for gate DM. Now the third category, uh, if you're someone who feel that you are not much comfortable with the core papers, you are more comfortable with gate DA because the syllabus is lesser and mostly mathematic oriented, so it will be more suitable for you. Then my only suggestion will be that try to get into top 100. Uh, otherwise, you know, we don't know what will happen. This year, uh, whatever I've seen, uh, top 200 people have suffered a lot. Uh, you know, till sixth round, they have no offer. Uh, they are, and and, and th that that time, you know, it's it's very very uh, stressful. Will be very stressful for you because till sixth round, you are not getting any offer, and other branch of students they are getting offer from IITs and others. So that's why be prepared for that and try to get top 100 ranks. Uh, that's the only suggestion I'll be, I'll be giving with you. So that will be my suggestion. In summary, I'll tell you that if possible, prepare for both the papers. If you are, some, if you are someone from CSC, EC, Electrical, then prepare for CS and, uh, and GATE DA. Uh, that will be the best, best possible option for you and, and try to get very good rank in both the papers. That will give you a lot of flexibility. But if you are someone who feel that I you, you are not comfortable with both the paper, you can only prepare for one, then go with the core paper. Uh, because, you know, core branches paper has a lot of exposure and a lot of IITs uh, option you'll be getting. Uh, but again, the third option is that if you are someone who feel that you can only prepare for gate DA, you are not comfortable with the core paper, then try to get into the top 100 rank. That's the only way you'll be in the 
safer position. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it about the video. That's the message I want to uh, share with you guys because many people have asked me this question that uh, I'm preparing only for gate BA and the situation of gate BA last year was not that good. What should I do? What is your suggestion? So that's why I feel that let's make a video and share my thoughts about you. And uh, uh, after watching this video, think about it and whichever uh, choice you feel will be best for you. Uh, act accordingly uh, but uh, whatever whatever decision you take try to do your best whichever gate paper you are appearing try to do your best and try to get a good rank because that's the first step you should have a good rank and then you can wait for uh, you know uh, having a fair opportunity to get into different IITs so the first step is that you have to do well in the gate examination and then all these things will come up but yeah I mean that's that's how the things see it and that will be my suggestion to all of you who are preparing for gate PA. So if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with other people. And if you have any query or comment, let me know in the comment section. Let I try to answer them. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be waiting in the next video. Until then, bye.